Hey guys, what is go- oh. I'm making a video. Yes, I'm making a video, okay? Don't- I'm so- f I'm so bored with his quarantine stuff, it's- it's not even funny. I- I- yeah, as you can tell, I'm making a video. I don't know what we're gonna make the video on yet, but uh... I- uh, I mean, I- I have a pretty good idea. I mean, you probably already know, because you've seen the title, but anyway. I'm gonna get dressed- uh, yep. Alright, I'm dressed now, and let's go... Somewhere. Something. I can't l really leave the house. I can do, however, a little bit nasty out there, but I mean, um, hmm. I think I, I think I already know what I want to do. Yeah, I know what we're gonna do. You already know, but I know what I know what I want to do now. We're gonna do that. So yeah. Uh, well, I I so th I thought I had something to do, but there is a bit of an issue. I wanted to work on cleaning the engine bay of my car. But, I have lost my keys. And I think I might know where they are. But, actually I do know where they are. They're either in my dad's truck, or somewhere at my dad's house. But now I don't know what to do today. So, I'm gonna think of something, I'll be back. Okay, so uh, I wasn't able to find the keys. But I was able to get into the car, so... Yeah. Uh, so as I worked more, there's I realized there's a few things. There's a lot of things that I can't really do. It's kind of windy out here and cold, and it's just messing everything up. I need to. I don't really have the tools and stuff here to get everything what I wanted to do done. But I figured I'll just do a tour of the car. Doesn't really run yet though, or it does run, but like I said, I'm a dumbass, and I don't have the key. I lost it. Anyway, this is the engine. It is a 5 MGE with a 205 horsepower, I believe. Uh, it is a inline 6. It had... Oh, crap. No, I just had a break. Uh, so, uh, editor Patrick here. Uh, I did not realize how windy it was out there. And I didn't think that they would be that windy whenever I was recording. So, I do apologize. There's a lot of wind throughout the rest of this video, but... Anyway, I hope, I, I talked really loud so you guys can still hear me, but I hope it doesn't like ruin the video, so I apologize in advance for that. But anyway, it's a really good video, so still watch it. Anyway, I was going to say something, I completely forgot. I don't know, it's an inline six, it's rear, the car is rear wheel drive, it's a, uh, it had a lot of issues, like with this we had to take these valve covers off, both of them, because we actually had a valve uh, rocker arm, the rocker arm come loose right here, which was causing a really, really low pressure, which was causing the whole thing to not run correctly. Uh, as you can see, this is all taped up, but I'm trying to get this all fixed. This is broken. There is a actual, you can, I, you can see the gap right there. But anyway, there's a gap right here between these, which is causing this thing not to function, because this is vacuum. Uh, controlled and there's a little flap in there that closes that lets air into the engine. This is the uh, uh, the intake, the uh, cold air intake. This is the filter in here, but this, there's not. It's vacuum powered, so there's not getting enough air through here because there's a vacuum leak here when it gets hot. It runs fantastic whenever it's nice and cold, but whenever it gets hot, this tape gets hot and it starts coming loose and it gets air pockets and this thing starts just it just starts messing up. This piece is the piece I just got from my grandpa. It's really taped up right now, but it's there's a little it's broken in half on the bottom. So it is rigged really well right now. Um but yeah, that's what this that's what's going on here. So yeah, let me just So as you can see, it, it's a little flat, but we got I got to I'm going to jack it up and get the tire off there soon. Anyway, this is the this is the back. This side actually is the better side like the paint is an all messed up. On this side, this window I had to get replaced, so the door panel is currently off because I'm working with this piece, which is being stupid. But the window works, but there's a wiring problem that doesn't make it go down, and it also doesn't stop when it goes up. So it just keeps going, and then we had to pull it out. Actually, it got jammed, and I couldn't close the door. But I got a bunch of tools in there because I wasn't finished yet. Um. Anyway, let's go over here. Is that side unlocked? Yeah. Good. So anyway, we're coming back here. Yeah, this is the worst side of the paint. You can tell that this is where the side that sat in the side because it's not shiny at all like the other side is. Except for that bottom half a little bit. But yeah, this side is all nasty. But anyway, we come in here and move those back. This is the, uh, close the door. This is the interior is in pretty good condition actually. So I, 
Uh, I, that, that's not where I was supposed to come off. This, the dash is actually in really good condition. I'm going to insert a picture of how it looked whenever I got it. Anyway, but yeah, this is a dash. It's a dash cover I got from my sister and my grandfather. It says my name on it. And anyway, we had to take all this stuff off up here and a bunch of other shit to get to it. I mean, we got this whole console out of here. Oops. It is a manual. You got your clutch right there, and it's a it's a five speed, and it goes through the gears real nicely. Yeah, it goes through the gears. It's got this radio in here is really old. I need to get a new one for. It. I need to replace it, but it's really old. It's got a uh, cassette player CD. That's not really old. But it's got a CD player and a cassette play tape. So yeah, and then these all, all this functions. I'm not sure about the heater yet. I haven't been able to test out the heater yet. But the seat is really, the seat is really cool actually. So I gotta move it back because I'm to my long legs, kind of. But there's this little pump right here. You can see this? And you twist it up and that will, that moves the seat up and down, right? Okay, now this thing is cool. So this, you squeeze it, you pump it up and it pumps up the back of the chair. Every, and then this right here, there's three buttons right here, and releases air to a, each different part of the chair. So you can pump it up to your exact special because there's three spots. And uh, back seat's not very big. It's only a two door, so it's not very big as far as the back seat goes. There's tools and shit back there, but uh, it's it's definitely got room. Oh yeah, my, one, of the, one of the coolest parts of this car. Anyway. Um, so we got the hatch and the gas tank are both are both go up from right there and uh, The ribs are actually completely stock too. They're nice. But anyway the hatch the, like, ugh, I need to oil those but the hatch I think it's so cool like it's a hatch. Oh gosh What is with that lighting? Okay, anyway, I don't know how long it was like that. Hopefully not very long, but the hatch, I love the hatch, I love hatchbacks, they're so cool. But like, we have this in here, the door panel's back here because we're going through some issues. I need to get, my grandpa actually, he's got a spare tire for me. Actually a few of them, but one to put in here. This carpet, I actually tore out the whole, I tore out all of the insides. Like, okay, that's cool. I tore out all of the insides, all the carpet, all the, uh, all the carpet the seats the center console the back seat everything i, I stripped it. it was uh to the uh the bottom of the fr not the frame but the bottom of the inside and i went through and pressure washed the shit out of the carpet like it actually looks pretty good oh yeah another big problem actually is this so i'm gonna need to get some fiberglass repair kit because it's broken all the way it's not broken on the bottom but anyway this is uh broken but i shouldn't touch it it's got stuff and we come back over here oh yeah so we actually had to fix this too see this right here ow this is actually it's supposed to be a different piece it's supposed to be plastic but anyway this shuts and it clips on there but this wasn't shutting it was just holding open so we rigged it like that and it is way better it works and uh yeah overall it is a really really nice car uh, i've got a few issues right now there's a few things i need to do like Eventually, it's gonna go through and I'm gonna get it painted. I'm not gonna paint it, but I'm gonna get the whole thing painted But I mean and it I don't have the key so I can't start it up right now, but I do I can insert a video of me uh, Of me starting it up and moving it so for proof that it actually moves because I've been trying to get a clutch in this thing for the longest time But anyway, the, the, why is there, what is the fishing rod doing on my, oh yeah, that's how we opened it. We used the end of this, of my little brother's fishing rod that he broke, um, to open it, so we could get in there, but yeah, and I'm, uh, it's, the sunroof doesn't work, but like most cars from this area, the sunroof never worked, any of it, 
Yeah, see if you notice the window's a little bit crooked. But yeah, it's a it's a really nice car. I need to get a hubcap for that side. Not a hubcap, a uh, cover for the for the stuff. I'm gonna leave the hood popped, but yeah, that's that is a that's a tour of uh, my 1985 Celica Supra. Yeah, this is my first car, and I've done a lot of work to it, and there's still a lot more work to come that I have, and I have big plans for it. But I'm not gonna tell you. We'll have to see that. You'll have to keep up with the channel. So subscribe for more. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep it updated as we do stuff on the channel. And of course, uh, I have an Instagram for it. I'll I'll probably leave me if I remember. Leave a link to it down in the description. Yeah. So there's a tour of my of my 1985 Celica Supra. Anyway, and uh, I'm gonna try to upload more for throughout this quarantine because I know everyone is like sitting in. So this might be a good time for me to actually get my channel up and going again. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, if you have any ideas or requests for videos, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.